Here's another example of how to add and subtract rational expressions. Here we have a subtraction of two rational expressions. And again, the trick is to make the denominators the same. Now here you can see that uh, there's no, what we would call lowest common denominator. The only way to get a common denominator here is to multiply the two denominators together, which means we're going to multiply this denominator by this one and this denominator by this one to make them common. Of course, whatever we do to the denominator, we must do exactly the same to the numerator. So this becomes equal to 5 over 3x minus 2. We're going to multiply the denominator here by 2x plus 5. And of course, we must do exactly the same to the numerator, 2x plus 5. And then we subtract from that this fraction right here, 3 divided by 2x plus 5. And we're going to multiply this denominator by the 3x minus 2. Of course, that means we have to multiply the numerator by 3x minus 2 as well. And always a good check is that if you were to eliminate those, because 2x plus 5 can be canceled out with 2x plus 5, you would end up with what you started with there. And if you eliminate those, then you can see that you end up with what you started with there, so you're still on the right track. No mistake so far. So now you can see that the denominator is the same. We can write as a product of two uh, binomials. So this is equal to everything written over a common denominator, 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. And then in the numerator, we're going to multiply these out. So this is 5 times 2x, which is 10x. 5 times 5, which is plus 25. And then we subtract from that the product of those. So that would be 3 times 3x, which is 9x, and 3 times negative 2, which is minus 6. The reason why I use brackets like that is I, want, I don't want to make a mistake with this negative sign. It's always good to play safe using parentheses or brackets. Now we can apply the negative sign. So this is equal to 10x plus 25 minus 9x. And of course, the, no, the minus cancels out the minus. It becomes a plus 6x all divided over the common denominator of 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. And then the only thing left to do, unless we can factor at the end, is to combine like terms. So this is equal to 10x minus 9x, which is x, and 25 plus 6, which is plus 31, all divided by 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 5. And then quickly, we want to make sure we can't factor anything out here, but we can. And it's okay to leave the denominator as a fraction of two binomials. You don't have to multiply that out unless they specifically ask you to do that. So that's how we do one of those. Okay. Well, we've got a few more examples for you waiting on the next video.